Hey everybody, the Bong is here ready to give you a brand new Let's Play. Scooby and Scrappy-Doo for the Commodore 64. Now lately I have been trying out Commodore 64 games now that I've been able to get them to work. And a lot of them are very hit and miss because it's a very old computer for its time. Like we're talking mid 80s, maybe early 80s. And yeah, if you play like a DOS computer or even an Apple II computer, it's kind of similar to that. So I have seen this on a YouTube video in the past. I'm like, oh, this seems like an interesting platformer. Why don't we go check it out right now? All right, in typical Commodore 64 fashion, you might get sound effects, you might get music. Good luck getting both. Because that computer had limited sound channels at a time. So in this case, there's no music. I know there was an Amiga version that actually did have some killer tunes. I haven't tried that one out yet. So basically, you just move around and you have one fire button, that's your punch. Well, that was not very fair, now was it? Jumping is with up. Yeah, in these kinds of games, and it was like that on the Amiga as well, you use up to jump if you're using a joystick control. So uh, have fun with that. I know I could have just like mapped one of my uh, buttons to jump or map one of my buttons to up if I use like a DS for Windows, but I'm kind of lazy to deal with that. So I'll just try to get through the controls the way nature intended. Figured I'd just get all these fries, I might be able to get an extra life. At least you start where you left off if you die. But unfortunately, you only have a... Uh... Oh, again? Like, what do you do then? Like, I don't have a good reaction time. I'm sorry, I don't. Yeah, you have to get through this whole game on one set of lives. And if you game over, you have to start from the very beginning. That's the bad news. But as a result, the game is not very long. Imagine this is like a two hour game and you only get like three or four lives to do the whole thing. And no extra lives to get, and no continues at all. I don't think they're that evil. Run for it, Scooby! <laughs> yeah, the Grim Reaper wants to get his. Maybe Scooby-Doo is actually a Final Destination movie. Oh yeah, I see these skulls. It looks like they don't do anything, but they'll kill you. Just like everything else does. Another issue with this game, when it comes to the moving platforms, if you land on them, you don't move with the platform. You have to keep walking while you're on the platform so that you don't fall off. See? It's a little weird. Oh, not falling for that again. <laughs> Fool me twice. Shame on me. Fool me thrice! Then I should probably turn the game off. <laughs> We're not gonna get to that level, I promise. Oh, a springboard. Like, you can charge your punch, but it doesn't really matter, I guess. <sighs> Man, that, that, that jump got me to game over when I practiced this game, too. Because the ceiling is so short. <sighs> I think I should stick to the bottom path. Wait, can I not do that? 
Oh, you can actually punch that open, but then you have to go through all this again. So you have to take the top path. That's annoying. And there's a fish there, too. It's too bad there wasn't any, like, uh, killer jams on this. We had to, like, suffer in silence. Well, it's a good thing the enemies have the same pattern, almost. Just run back and forth like they're red Koopa Troopas. That's all they can really do. Ah, oh, I shouldn't have dropped. Well, that's game over, so I guess what? I gotta do the whole game again. Alright, try it again. So yeah, not gonna drop down right away because that stupid owl. Kinda think of it, is there any reason to deal with these fish? You could you're better off just avoiding them. And what's up with this enemy? It looks more like a fish with feet. What is with that? Better off going this way, I guess so. Haha, <laughs> just gave it a manicure right there with my fists. I don't know how many levels there are. Well, this is the second stage. So, that's pretty much what I gotta deal with. Oh, God! Okay, so I had a bit of a graphical glitch, but that's all sorted now. I just had to set it on warp speed so I can process faster. Am I snow? Am I on a platform that's just flying? I'm on a hoverboard. Okay, that's different. Oh, it's gonna be one of those games where falling water can kill you, huh? I'm sure that's gonna happen at a game like this. So, uh, definitely not trusting that. That's probably gonna fall. So don't even bother with those fries. Also, one thing I've noticed that some of the enemies don't move very fast except for the snails. Some of the snails are like the fastest enemy in all this. Does it make sense? No, it doesn't, but that's what's happening. Uh, I guess we can live with that. Uh, can I actually punch fish at all? No, you can't. You have to get by them. Alright, there we go. I'm guessing spiders cannot be punched either. Okay, we seem to be doing all right. Somehow avoided that fish. Apparently if you're like going up against a wall and you hold in that direction, your up movement is just kind of stunted. Oh, that's BS. Had to be on the left side for that one. How much bigger is this level, anyway? Especially some... Oh, Freaking owls! I hate them! I can't react fast enough! How many times have I had to tell you this? So I practically gotta be perfect now, because one more hit and it's over. And there we go. Alright. I kept falling for the owl again. 
That's the second time that owl got me. I have learned nothing in this playthrough. Oof, okay. That I missed. Nice. Oh! Had to be real fast with that. Maybe this is the last level. I don't know. It better be. I mean, it would make it a very, very short game. But it's certainly a lot better than just, you know, having to do all this again every time. Oh, God, I did it, too. Yep, there's more. Oh, I feel bad forever was chained here. And suddenly I no longer have my hoverboard. Back to being on foot for me now. But now we got guillotines. Okay, so the trampolines only bounce when I hit up. And not before. Okay. Okay, that would have been an evil trap to put right there. Like, I don't cross the threshold until I'm already midway. You know, they got robbed right there. My skeleton doesn't have legs anymore. Oh god, what is this? Stuff of true terrors, that's what. Okay, I think we're gonna make it. I mean, I can afford to lose at least couple more lives until that happens. I didn't know there would be two of them. I don't know if you can like stand on the bottom of the blades, can you? I'm not even gonna chance it. I mean, if static skulls can kill you, I'm sure that could too. I don't trust that. Okay, where does it start? Come on, game! That is the most dickish enemy placement you can just have. You're approaching I want to be the guy level before it even existed. See, can I walk under that? Yes, I can, actually. Fuck! Done. But how would I even known the game would be that evil? Of course, because it's a Commodore 64 game. Of course it would be evil. Alright, this is the farthest I've ever gone. Oof, thought that was going to be tangly. Oh, this could still be tangly. Nope. Fucked up there. Nope! Oh my god. Just go. We made it. We're not out of the woods yet, though. There they are. I saved them. There, I edited out the graphical glitch again. And for some reason, Shaggy is grabbing one of Scooby's eyes.
Congratulations! The end. And then it just cuts to the title screen. So, there you go, that's it. That's Scooby and Scrappy-Doo for the Commodore 64. Would I recommend this game? Maybe for novelty's sake, but I wouldn't really say it's a well-put-together title. You could still play worse, though, I'll say that much. But, uh, at least the, uh, at least this music's kind of bopping. Too bad it's the only song you hear. But in any case, this is the Bonga signing off, saying goodbye, Godspeed, and stay tuned for my next Let's Play. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I shall see you next time.